Okay, I hope you get it. Great. Took is the jankiest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Look, look, look at that, look at that. That nice, even curve. Was that on purpose? That was on purpose, wasn't yeah. it? Uh, no? No, it's not. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I don't know why, but my head just is like a side to side thing there. It's pretty weird. I, I, was, I wasn't planning on doing that. But, this is it. I just, I'll tighten some stuff up, and we're gonna slap this baby. Right there. So right now we're working on uh, both the shooter mechanism and the intake mechanism. intake mechanism. On the shooter side, we're attaching the, the fins and the uh, kind of the curved portion of the chute so that we can actually have the flywheel shoot at a specific angle. Kind of working out those logistics, how much compression we need. Um, and you can talk about the intake. Uh, as for the intake, we just have a roller wheel. It looks like this. Uh, working on mounting the motor to actually make this spin, and we're also going to have to mount the um, the follow well the bearing that ends up going on this end. That way, it actually has support on both ends. Uh, we ran into a couple of structural issues in the way of just slightly poor planning with some geometry, but should be able to be solved pretty easily here, and then we'll be all set. Colin, what are you doing? Uh, I'm working out how the winch system is going to work. Um, so basically you need two large circular discs to basically constrain the cord uh, around the winch so it doesn't fall off the rotating part. So we're going to cut that two circles out of this polycarb and then attach it on. What's that, Chan? This? Is the other side of a conveyor belt? What are you doing, Carmen? Uh, we're a little putting on this to connect it to the car. The ball is going to be the shoe. Neat. Okay, we'll do it here. Yeah, and this tight. Uh, we are behind. I think that it's going to impact our testing time. We're going to finish. And I think we're obviously there's going to be debugging that needs to be done, so we need to reserve time for that. But I think we'll have enough time to do what we want. Uh, we'll just be a bit rushed. 50.1597% test four. That was clean. I mean, it came back out, but yeah. Yeah. it only came back out because it bounced out. It would have gone down. It would have been chill. We would have been chill. Was that? We would have been chilling. Chilling. We would have been chilling. The robot now has a conveyor belt that seems to work. We're now trying to uh, constrain these belts so that they don't move and fall off the edge of the rollers. Um, we've tested uh, the shooter and it seems to be able to consistently drop the balls into the high goal. Um, and yeah, that's it. What about the intake here? Was that not assembled the last time? No. Okay. It's assembled well, the, now. The, the intake is also assembled. Yeah. Does it work? Yeah, we have not tested it yet, but it, it appears to. In theory. So what did we just talk about? Uh, so we just decided on how to put the hook onto our robot so that we can most effectively grab onto the... Um, what's it called? The bar? What's the bar? Generator switch. We must finally grab onto the hook onto the generator switch um, so that our drivers can do it really quickly and efficiently and get it right every single time. Uh, and then we also decided to that we had to flip our input, our input, uh, our input wheel because the motor was in the way of the hook. So we had to flip that so that this doesn't hit a motor. Yes, it is. Flathead screws are the, are the work of the devil. Yes, they are. 
reach. You just think it's set. Well, you could be using a Phillips screwdriver. We don't have any I was going to say, does anyone want one? Because I could probably go. Uh, no. <laughs> Do you, what are you using to control this uh, gamepad wise? Okay, so you, but you can, you're doing, able to do intermediate power, right? Yeah, so I'm trying to be. Do you mind if I give it a shot? Is it the matter of taxis up and under? Yeah. Okay, up and under. Enabling. There. I mean, it holds. Ah, I'm glad we did the motor. I can almost reach. Hey, oh, John, watch the hard stops. Yeah, you know how it is. How did it wait? <laughs> is there no hard stop? Uh, it's worn itself down. Yeah, that's what I figured. No more hard stop here. Okay. It what? It's not. It wasn't supposed to be hard stop. That's bad. Do you want to spit it out? Rejected. That was bad. That's the intake. You want the conveyor belt? Yeah, try shooting. Oh, I was just going to take another one. That's one. You're counting? Sure. Okay. Uh, Uh-oh. So you do that. Like that, okay? And then we got three loaded up, so then we drive on over and we're all like, well, oh, it's time to shoot them out. Oh! Time, time, time to save them. Hey, Rebecca. Yeah. What are you doing? So, uh, we put a bracket on to move our arms pivot point back and up a little bit. Um, so we riveted on the bracket and we are in the process of bolting on the pivot uh, motor thing itself. Uh, however, we're struggling with bolts, but that's okay. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Uh, 70, 72. 74. I didn't the see about, I didn't see about 80. 77. Yeah. The highest I saw was 70. Whoa. So we've run into the problem where uh, our hook is either too floppy to, you know, to, to be on the robot, or uh, it's too attached to the this pole to come off. So we're trying different methods to see, to get that little sweet spot between not floppy and also not too attached. Uh, and this is one of our solutions. What's the solution? It's uh, just more Velcro. Yeah. Alright. Place your war cry. No, I did it last year too. I can do it. You can unlock the winch, right? Okay. You're now gonna go ahead and do winch. Uh, Other way. So I'm gonna then lower this. Okay, I need a way to hook it. I'm trying so if I go up, it's kinda just pulling this. If you go forward while you lower the winch. Yeah, could you move forward? Oh, move while you lower the arm. Yeah. Yep, then lower it. Yeah, yeah go forward. Go forward. There we go. And now I'm going to lower the arm out. Yeah. Might need to drive forward a little bit more just to get forward. Ah, oh, I got this. Oh, there we go. Now we're going to go up. Do the winch. You might want to drive forward a little bit. Oh, okay. Oh. Right here. Oh, so that's it. Back over. So we need some speed over it. So were you actually getting stuck or were you just not giving enough power? Yeah, we cut it to 50%, so that makes sense. Actually, it's cut to uh, 25%. That's 25% power because it's squared inputs. We can fix it. All right, you want to try shooting it? Yeah, 
just go for it. Okay. Uh, so it's obviously not steady, but yeah. Okay. So back up a little bit. Okay, and then I drop and back again, and we'll go up. I think this will take us like 10, 20 seconds at the end of it all. Probably want to bring the arm in as well. Slide down. Okay. So there we were able to do like a full run. Uh, we got balls, we shot balls, we went and climbed, and Luke and I actually did really well at that. I, I mean, with almost no practice, we were able to climb successfully with that. But we did see that the uh, uh, conveyor belt mechanism, the surgical tubing got really bunched up. Probably the last fix we did didn't help, so we'll probably go back to some different methods of separating each of these uh, things. Um, but yeah, we definitely saw that it was pretty successful. So. I just cut these. We're gonna mount them around here. And then we're gonna put a motor on here have a shaft come up and then we're going to have another piece of the uh, one by two or C channel coming up here, uh, have a bearing hole in it, so shaft going to come through, bearing, wheel, and then we'll have a powered thing, control the control panel.